All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to RAR Motorsports. So we got the 6.0 LS, and before I take the valves out, I just want to do a little bit of work in these chambers. Basically, all I'm gonna do is knock down these sharp edges right here, round them off a little bit, knock this little hump down right here, and this is just to prevent hot spots in a in a chamber. So we're gonna do that real quick. All right, got some background noise over here. I'm coaching in his little tricycle, or sister's tricycle. But anyways, like I said, Uncle did is knock these sharp edges off this ridge here and knock these bumps down. So the next step is to pull our valve springs, retainers, locks, keepers. I'll show you more when we get the valves out. But this bump right, this bump right here. So. Let's get this disassembled. I went ahead and sprayed some brake clean in these. So you can see there. So we'll flip this thing over and see if we got any leaks. There's a little bit around that one. And this one right here is leaking for sure. That one looks good. So yes, we'll go ahead and lap all the valves while we're here. Do the same thing from the intake side. Basically pouring out. Over. Oh yeah, we got some leaks. Oh sure. Every one of them is leaking. So we'll fix that too. All right, we got all our valves, springs, retainers out. Got my keepers and retainers in here with a lid. So if I knock it over or something, I don't lose anything. I put all these back in the hole they come out of. You know, check the, the guide wear. Just put it in there, wiggle it back and forth. It's pretty dang good for having 192,000 miles on it. It's not gonna bother me to run it like it is. So in these ports here, all I'm doing is knocking this bump down right here. And then on this side, I'm gonna knock this bump right here down. That's probably about it. So that bump and this bump, that's all I'm gonna do. Might smooth this right here out just a little bit. Just right there. Just got that little ridge. 
Just make everything where it feels kind of smooth. Not really worried about these bowl areas on this one. Because they actually look pretty good from the factory. Might do some uh, sanding roll stuff. Just smooth everything out. Then on these exhaust ports, I'm not going to do nothing but raise this floor a little bit. I'm going to lap the valves while we're in here. Because leaky valves is leaky horsepower. Sounds good to me. Whatever. Leaky valves is leaky horsepowers. Yep. Leaky horsepowers. So. I think I'm pretty much done with this cylinder head as far as the burr bit goes. Um, I went ahead and threw it in the parts washer, cleaned it up a little bit. Just where I could see what I was doing a little bit better. I should have done that beforehand because this, these carbon deposits everywhere tend to clog up the burr and these sanding rolls more so even than the aluminum. Here's the exhaust. I'll just clean that guide up a little bit and raise the floor a little bit. On the intake side, just knock that bump down. Give it a little taper. So I'm going to take the sanding rolls and smooth these chambers out to where so much stuff don't stick to them. I think I'm going to call it good right there. Just took the sanding roll to it and smooth everything out. Knock that guy down. Right atop of that guy down just a little bit. And just smooth everything out. That's pretty much it. I'm going to do the same thing to these chambers. Just take the sanding roll to them. And they'll be done. I'll put the I'll put my uh, my valves back in here before I do it, so I don't nick any valve seats. So let's get that done real quick. See you in a minute. We're gonna put our grinding compound on our seats. I'm gonna put this drill on this back side. Work it in and out, in and out, in and out. Switch the drill back and forth every once in a while. That's basically it, really. I guess I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, we got our. Grinding compound, we got a drill. So, I guess we'll start right here. You don't need a whole lot of this stuff. You need to make sure you don't get it in the guide. Now we'll clean these up and see what it looks like. Should have a, a light gray band all the way around the valve and then a darker line where the valve seats. I think I'm gonna hit them all again. Yeah, I'm gonna hit them all one more time. Oh, that's too much. Little this, little this, little this, little this, little this, little that, little this, little this, little that. Make sure it didn't get on my guide where I squirted too much in there. If 
I'm trying to do the right way. All right, all right, all right. This is where we are with the cylinder head porting. Um, still waiting on the machine shop. Still waiting on the transmission shop to get all my stuff back. Um, we got all the shavings out of here. So I ordered some more tools. I ordered some single flutes for the die grinder, so I could actually remove material quickly um, as you can see I blended all these bowls in knocked all these uh, swirl ramps back a little bit Let me get the flashlight flashlight we was talking about these swirl ramps so just kind of knocked those back just a little bit these exhaust sides This is just uh, 80 grit flap wheels. I got some 600 grit flap wheels on the way. Intake side. So, see this little hole right here? That's your uh, rocker arm stud boss or bolt boss, whatever you want to call it. And the reason that's there, because we knocked that, that big hump back that was right there. So this big hump used to come out to like way over here. Um, so what we'll do is when we put our rock arms in here, we'll just put some silicone or some Loctite or something on the threads to where we don't have a vacuum leak. Um, besides that, these uh, chambers just kind of knock all the rough edges down, like right here, around a spark plug and a couple of spots this kind of knocked the roughness of the casting down didn't really spend a whole lot of time i left the valves in there i'm trying not to mess no valve seats up because i don't want to pay for a valve job <clears throat> i'm gonna have to put a different flap wheel on here to get down inside this left side right here on all these and smooth all this back out we'll see what that looks like so I think I'm gonna call it good just like that I don't know this is supposed to be a budget build and it's turning out to not be that way but whatever gotta be done gotta get it back together I'd rather do it once and do it right than have to do it all over again because I skimped out on something stupid there it is still sitting here in all its glory so I think that's gonna do it for this video um, I did a good amount of research before I tried to start porting anything um, I, I, basically what I did I would do a little bit I would do a little bit of porting and I'd stop and say alright that's good enough do some more research uh, think about it ponder on it look at it a little bit more do a little bit more repeat this process about two or three times and this is where I ended up so, I think it looks pretty dang good for my first time. The time will tell on a dyno. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me uh, in the comments what you think about my cylinder head job here for my first time. Thanks for being here. See you soon.